Gisa. I represent Panshin Kanke Kanam. I'm from Plato State, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we will continue to be guided by your advice to make comments and statements that will not further escalate the security situation in Nigeria as stakeholders. But as representative of the people, Mr. Speaker, I think it is important that this matter is being discussed on the floor of the House of Representatives. Kidnapping and insecurity problem have been one of the major issues affecting Nigerian people. And the commitment of the Ninth National Assembly toward ensuring that issue of kidnapping and other insecurity that is affecting this country has been curtailed to the barest minimum. And that is why, Mr. Speaker, I want to lend my voice to this debate to say that we need to take a pragmatic action, Mr. Speaker, that will stop the act of kidnapping the life of all Nigerians, whether it is judges or a common Nigerian on the street that is being kidnapped, it is the responsibility of the lawmakers to ensure that the security of, the, and the, of lives and properties of Nigeria is being protected. Mr. Speaker, it is high time the law enforcement agencies that are responsible for the protection of the lives of the citizens of this country must sit back and ensure that they have come up with strategy that will stop this issue of kidnapping from being increased to the barest minimum. Mr. Speaker, we need to tell them that this is unacceptable to the Nigerian people. They need to do the needful and they need to do their jobs so that our people will sleep, so that our people will be fine. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that the various approaches that is being done by the security agencies is not giving the desired result. And that is why there is a need for them to revisit their strategy toward ensuring that there is an absolute position that will bring issue of kidnapping, issue of killing to an end in Nigeria. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to add my voice on this debate. Thank you and God bless us.